Hello, I'm Jerry Taver. Thank you for joining me on PNG tonight. Coming up, SME, an industry the government has invested millions in. Also, climate migration and how it's affected many. And the mini World Youth Day. The SME sector in PNG, an industry the government has invested millions in, is entering a new level of growth. The plan, well at least that's what the government hopes, is to create 50,000 new SMEs by 2030. But a traditional art form is said to be at the losing end. The ancestral skills of making carvings and other traditional artifacts in PNG is on the verge of dying out. Solista Gawi spoke to one group of board carvers from East Sipic province. They're facing challenges in making and selling carvings to tourists in Medang. The art of carving making has been a skill passed on from generations to generations. But in Papua New Guinea, only a few young men are able to hold on to this traditional skill. This man from Tamunum village in Ambunti, Isipik province, have been using their skills to make artifacts out of wood and it has become more than a hobby for them. It is their daily trade. They've survived with it for many years and the young ones are eager to learn from the elderly. Uh, you know, you see law lining, same hardly lit law lining. You maybe say start law, time local school, block law lining. Go come back or say papa you walk in, look, look, sit down, Biani. The covers camp outside the Medang Resort, a tourist haven in Medang town known for hosting tourists from all over the world coming into Medang. The artifacts ranging from masks to coffee tables and other wooden symbolic structures are displayed outside the entrance to the hotel. Young men sit under the shade and putting their knives to wooden stumps, sculpting traditional resemblance of the diverse cultures of the Sipic people. Medang has been the tourism hub in Papua New Guinea for many years and the growing economic activities in the province have also forced people to migrate into the town and settle. Like any other regional towns in PNG, Medang's unemployment rate is increasing and most students that come out from secondary and tertiary institutions finds it more difficult to get formal employment. <laughs> For this young man, they have not only found an alternate and honest means of making money, but it is another way of preserving the diverse traditional culture of PNG. While the future generation of Papua New Guineans are experiencing a class of traditional and modern influences, the traditional skills of storytelling, legends, traditional way of doing things, and preserving cultures are slowly dying out. Plus, I'm carving, you plus, I'm making them in every story. Ah, you say making any any different carving, you say crocodile or some black guy, no, say more tuna carving, any carving, you say making. So, such money like him, I can give order, you say making. While Medang and East New Britain are the leading tourism provinces in the country, the need for the government to put money into making it a profitable industry and boosting local participation is still anticipated. Tourists in a car, or man, only less looking now. So only, only looking up to this town, only Sally, or less looking now. 
The CP covers are an example of many other Papua New Guineans who are going into small businesses in the tourism sector, which promotes the country's diverse traditional cultures. The CP, all of them are now, all the less, now what tourists go. While provincial and national governments may talk proposals of empowering the people to go into business, a little bit of assistance, whether it be in funding incentives or providing capital to boost the SME sector, can go a long way to help local people be active participants in development and economic activities. Government now, now what? All having soap. So <laughs> Silver Stagawi there. Stay with us more after the break.